I'm Lexi and welcome to my YouTube channel. Okay, so today's video is a get ready with me. Uh, you know, I, I, the whole concept of my channel at this point is a, you know, a fashion journey, but at the same time, like I can't, I don't make progress or like do a thing for that journey, like every single week of my life. And I am going to be doing a lot of other content too. I, um, all related to like fashion and makeup still, but, um, like my favorite things to watch on YouTube is actually like a makeup, uh, beauty channels. And it's not even about the makeup a lot of it is about like the style of content i like that they have reoccurring um types of videos and you know like i love the what's trending now or will i buy it and i like the get ready with me and i like i like all these different types of videos that they sort of like make as part of their regular uh rotation of videos and i think that's really fun and i want to do that but like for fashion but also some makeup stuff but i want to get that mixed in so let's get started so the first thing when i get ready in the morning is I come in here I come in I keep my clothes and stuff in the spare room so I come over here and I always start with a concept sometimes it's sometimes it's an idea of an object or you know like something that inspires me sometimes it's like a knife and then I'll wear like black tight clothes so I look like long and slender look but with like silver accents or something like and kind of tough sometimes or like a basket of fruit or or sometimes it's a character in a movie or a type of person like a like a oh today I want to look like a visco girl or whatever you know I don't know that I've ever said that particularly but you you get the point and then sometimes it's a particular item of clothing sometimes I think oh you know I haven't worn x in a while I really want to wear that today so that's my starting off point and for me today my starting off point is that I really want to wear like hot pink sparkly eye makeup so then on days where I've picked out a certain item of clothing or a uh, type of makeup actually it's really common for me to decide in advance what I want to how I want to do my makeup and build an outfit around that but um so on days when I decide that I have certain piece of clothing or certain makeup that I want to wear then I have to decide if I want that to be um like the a really statement thing like a pop of color a pop of this one item and then the tone the rest the outfit down or if I want to be really, like really matchy matchy so like for instance today I want to wear really hot pink sparkly eyeshadow just because like I don't know I just want to and now I have to decide so sometimes I'm like I want that to be like a big statement so then the rest of the clothes I'll, I'll pick will be um, like black or darker colors something like that but today I want to wear hot pink eyeshadow but I want it to be part of an outfit that's very hot pink so um, that means I have to find some clothes to wear that are hot pink and I don't have that much stuff specifically hot pink but I have things in the same family that will work so I'm gonna pull those um, out and we'll start looking at them so I first I have is this this is my uh, kind of like dark fuchsia velvet dress and it's got cat hair on it um, and so that's an option and then the other option I have is this pair of pants now I'm feeling like really like into the vibrant statement not just matching it but like really like meeting that statement of the eyes with the rest of my clothes so I think if I I probably would not do this and I'm thinking of this but this isn't the only item I have that would match that so I have this pair of socks and I know it's silly to think like you're just gonna match your eyeshadow to your socks but like you can build an outfit around that pink eyeshadow plus pink socks plus pink accessories would really be like a statement and then the rest of the items could be could be black or blue or green or whatever other colors it doesn't take a lot to sort of coordinate a color throughout the outfit so I could do that so that's an option I don't know that I would do these together but that's an option and the other option I have is um, this shirt now this was not in when I talked about my full wardrobe this was not in there I've mentioned before that I sort of have um, like a separate wardrobe of Japanese clothes that I wear mainly to meet up with other pe like Japanese fashion aficionados and they're really like out there I'll put an example on the screen the clothes are not like interchangeable with my regular outfit but this shirt was kind of hiding in in that stuff because I bought it uh, from a Japanese brand and I used to wear it with a certain dress that I no longer have but it's very cute in its own right it's by the brand Gok, I think it's pronounced 
Um, and it's got this uh, print on the bottom that has uh, hot pink and strawberries. And I have put this before with my leopard print leggings and I thought it was a really cool look. So these are my options. Um, this is kind of lacy and last time I washed it, I didn't steam it or anything. The lace is kind of like wrinkly and so to look its best, I would have to steam it and I don't feel like steaming anything right now. This is my first day off in a week and I just want to not steam my clothing on my day off. So that's a no. I think that, um, you know, I think I'm gonna work with these pants today and not these socks. So I'll wear different socks and save that. So now I've got this piece and like, this seems like a lot, but this decision would be made in like mm, 10 seconds, right? If I wasn't explaining it for the camera. So I'm gonna wear these pants and now I have to decide um, sort of the style of my outfit. Do I want something that's like super girly or do I want to like put this with like a punk shirt? Um, so that's, that's a decision, decision that has to be made. I think for me today, uh, I don't know. I want to, I want to kind of pull out my options and see how I feel. So I'm going to move the camera over to my dresser and then we'll, uh, I'll go through the, my tops and we'll see what I decide. Okay, I've moved over to my dresser. Uh, this is my dresser. It's a Japanese uh, tansu, I think, from around the Art Deco era. Um, and you can, it's, so it actually splits into three pieces and they like lift apart this and then about halfway down the drawer part. So um, you can see this is the end of my vanity. And then when I was at my closet was, uh, you could see the other like little edge of my vanity. So I, I can't show you my vanity because the mirrors will like blare out. But um, yeah, so I'm going to go through my clothes and we'll figure out. So we know that uh, I want to wear this. So I'm going to put that there, maybe there. We'll open this. And this is where I have all my shirts. So yeah, that's a good place for that. So you can see that. So I, I'll have my eyeshadow being like really bright pink and sparkly. And so I have a few options with these pants. This is probably one of my most versatile pairs of pants. Now I could go like total sparkles head to toe like this. I actually wore this exact outfit just a couple weeks ago. And that's one option. The colors on this like perfectly match the pants. So that's definitely an option. I don't know that I'm feeling like that sparkly today. I think I'm feeling a little bit not sparkly. So another outfit choice would be with this beautiful pe embroidered peasant style blouse and it's got pink and purple flowers on it and I've often worn it with these pants and it looks really nice but that's a little bit more I think nice and sweet than I'm feeling today. Uh, so I think I'm going to try to pair it with something that's more a little more rock and roll. That's, that's the mood I'm in today. The first option I think that would match it pretty well is my Iggy Pop shirt um, yeah, I really like that option. So that's a top contender. We could also go with just something that's plain black, but still girlier. And like this off the shoulder top, you remember from one of my uh, de videos in the declutter series when I was going through clothes that I, I, I like, but I don't wear that I actually kind of like just fix this. So I've been trying to get more wear out of it. And I have actually worn it a few times lately. So I think I'm going to try to go for something that I haven't worn as as recently. Um, now I could put this like technically it would match if I just put it with any black band shirt but I think I've talked about before how when I put this with like a t-shirt when I put these disco pants with a t-shirt it just reminds me and then the t-shirt comes down to you know these are super high waist and then t-shirt comes down to here and they to me it just ends up looking like it just ends up looking like the really tight pants from the 2010s, like the really, really tight pants. And that's not the vibe I want to go for. And actually, that's now that I even say it like that, it's making me rethink this shirt. It's making me think that this will look too, um, too much like that. So I'm going to actually put that back. So, you know, it's a good thing I'm talking it out. And these are, these are all things that, like, the debate I would have in my head going back and forth in the span of, like, a minute. Like, it doesn't take me 45 minutes to <laughs> pick out the clothes. So, but anyway, um... So in terms of girlier options that do match, uh, I might try to go with this. It's actually pretty warm today, guys. I could get away with this. So I could wear this ruffly tank top and put that with. 
And then uh, try to work some pink into my accessories. So there's a little pink up here besides just my eyeshadow. I could also, if I wanted, put it under um, this or put it on top, wear this under, this fishnet shirt under it. But I'm not feeling that today. I just don't want to mess with that. Sometimes it's annoying because everything gets caught in it. So I think, hmm, yeah, the polka dot shirt and the ruffly tank top and the sparkly are all are all my only choices if I want to stay really girly today. Mm, oh, I could wear this. You guys, I always say that I'm not wearing this enough, but you know, I don't think that really matches. So no. Uh, this this I'm, I've been trying to wear it like I said I would, guys, but it's not working out. And I, I think I might be getting rid of it. Oh, and there's one last option. That is this navy blue. I really um, like the look of navy blue and like a purple together. And I think that, you know, I think that's going to be it. I think that this is going to be my shirt today. This is, I got this at Forever 21 like a million years ago. The back is like open and then this part has, um, has like a, it's like twisted. I don't know. It's interesting. So we're going to go with that. So no black in the wardrobe today. There's usually some black in my outfits, but not today. And that is okay. Okay, so then I have to start thinking about what I want to do for shoes. Now, if I put boots with the disco pants, like my Doc Martens, I'm not a big fan of that look. I could wear loafers, but the loafers are gray, and that's just not quite. Like, it's they're white, but lots of shades of gray, and that's not quite the look I want. So I'm going to go back over to my shoes and purses, and I'll move the camera back over there. Okay, we're back over here by my shoes and purses, and um, I don't think you guys can see quite everything in frame, so I'm going to kind of lift some stuff up. This is, like, obviously the perfect choice. Um, <laughs> not perfect choice. Maybe that... Okay, this is the obvious choice, I, I guess is what I mean to say. This is actually my everyday purse. You know, like, like I that one purse that's just, like, really big and has all your junk in it, all my receipts. Everything's already in here, like my coin purse and my lip gloss not my lip gloss, my lips chapstick, I guess you could call it. Yeah, everything's already in here. So it'd be really easy for me. I could just like grab this purse. I wouldn't have to move anything around. I wear this every day to work. And like when I go to the grocery store, it has all the colors on it. So it, I feel like it always matches and it's a big hit. And it's a, by Kurt Geiger, like a British designer. So that would be like an obvious choice. And I may go with that choice, we'll see. So I've got this purple, navy blue. I'll be wearing bright pink eyeshadow. And I could go with this and no, this, these are sparkly light pink and I don't think that would look that great. Um, I think, honestly, I think I have two options here. I think I can go with this or I think I can go with this. And I think today I want to go with this. I kind of like love this vibe. So I'm going to go with that. And then purse wise, by bringing in the leopard, I really have some choices. Now I could go with this. My fiance got this for me at Valentine's Day a year ago for our fourth anniversary. So I could go with this and this would match the shoe um, because of the colors, but also because I have put this leopard print uh, scarf on the bag. So I could go with that. I could go with this new purse. I just got at Aldo and that would look, mm, I think the tone of this is not quite right. I could go with the regular everyday purse. I could go with white and that would really I think tie in the white stripes of the shirt but the shoe choice is like very brown I don't know we'll, well I guess hold on put this here and kind of imagine this and I kind of like that but um, I don't know it's not quite right I think that purse would go really well if the outfit had a little bit more of a 70s vibe. Like if I had gone with this shoe, maybe I think that that purse would have looked awesome. But with the leopard print shoe, um, I could go with the, uh, I have a deer, like a fawn print purse. And, you know, yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I think the fawn print purse is a nice way to tie in some brown shades so that the shoes don't look completely out of place. So this is going to be, wait, how am I doing this? This is going to be the outfit. This purse, these things, and this. So I think that's what I'm going to do for the outfit. Now I'm going to switch the camera around again, and I'm going to do my hair, take my hair out of curlers, talk about that, and then do my makeup. 
Okay, so, okay, so now it's time for me to take down my curlers. I've been trying to do this more often, so I slept on these last night. Uh, if I wash my hair in the morning and then I put up in curlers, it has to be up for like a really long time, and then if I don't have that amount of time, I have to just like blow dry them for like an, literally an hour. But last night I slept on them. Now, that's part of the reason why they're kind of coming down in a lot of places. Um, because, you know, sleeping on them kind of disturbs them. And then, you know, this isn't actually, <laughs> I woke up like four hours ago and I've been cleaning. So they kind of got more. And you, so this is like breaking every rule of curlers, I guess. Like they're all different sizes and it's random. But me personally, that's really what I've been going for lately. It's sort of just like a wild mess of curls and making like a whole mix of sizes kind of makes it look really um wild which i like so what i do is i get out of the shower it's a little bit wet and i so i used to use um setting lotion now you can get this in any sally's and you have to dilute it um i think it's like one part this to three parts water or something like this i don't remember exactly what i lose did it's been a long time this has been sitting around my house and i think i'm actually gonna get rid of it a lot of these have this is pretty good a lot of them if you look up they the first ingredient is alcohol and that's really bad for your hair I'm not exactly sure what it does it kind of almost like makes your hair a little bit like tacky but then I got this um I got this product to help just like give my hair more volume I noticed that I was growing my hair out and I noticed that it was a a lot less voluminous because it was heavier so I was I got this spray and I realized it made my hair feel in my hands the same way uh, the setting lotion did and I just this is like chemicals and then this the ingredients of this are like apple concentrate and things like that I mean I'm, there's there's chemicals in this too I just you know I have it and I love the smell so I use it and I'm also not trying to do like those perfect uh, vintage curls so it works for me then I have this bristle brush I find that this is really good for um, brushing out curls so I'm going to use that to brush it up and then some Aquanet. So I just sort of start at the bottom. Oh, and I have this mirror because usually I would do this in front of my vanity, but I can't face the mirror. The giant mirrors in the vanity just like would wreck everything. And I don't quite have the right setup to be able to put the camera in front of the mirror and film facing out. So I'm just going to use this. It is double sided, but I just taped a scarf over it. Like this is normally not how it looks, guys. I normally don't have like a scotch taped scarf on my mirror but so uh what i do is i um i take a curl out i'm not going to show you this whole thing because otherwise this video will be really long so i take a curl out and you can see that it's really curly i actually like the vibe that this spray gives if you use the setting lotion it's like really shiny but this is like a little less intense and it's not designed to make a curl stay super well so then i i could just like if i brushed it out just like really nice uh, my card, it turns out, was full, so I had to go take a break and um, undo that. But I uh, just want to go back to where I was. I kind of stopped. If I kept brushing this out really nice, you can see I'm starting to get like this nice soft curl. But that is not what I want. So what I want to do is I want to back comb it a little. I want to separate it. I want it like lots of individual curls. And then I'm just going to um, shoot it with a little hairspray. And by brushing it out, I kind of relaxed the curl a lot at the bottom, which I'm not a huge fan of, but like, whatever. And I'm going to do, maybe I'll do like one more, and then I'll just stop and do this off camera, and then come back when it's done, and I'll change into my outfit. So I'm going to take one, kind of separate it, back comb it a little, and um, just kind of keep doing like that. Okay, and I'll be back in a second. I'm back. I brushed my hair all the way out. I've got this, uh, I've got my clothes on. I picked out my um, my necklace and earrings. I, I don't know if you guys can see, but my nails are like hot pink and I think maybe that's why I've been in a hot pink mood lately. I got them done for Valentine's Day and it's the first time I've had them done since last Valentine's Day um, because a few things are open and they're allowed to have like one customer at a time in there. So I got them done for my anniversary. But uh, let's get into makeup. First thing I'm going to do is I have this eyebrow pencil that I mostly just keep because it's got a spoolie on the back. Like one of these days I'll buy a spoolie, but today's not that day. Uh, I've been wearing primer lately. 
I've never been someone who wears primer and I often don't wear any makeup at all. So it's not like I wear primer every day. But I've been wearing it lately and I got some like blurring primer just because I was interested. I've been wearing a uh, a little bit more eye uh what's it called? Mm, concealer lately and uh the concealer I just thought this would make it lay better and it is how it it does. It's nice. It's nice. Um I don't really feel like going and telling you what every single brand is that I'm trying because I don't, I don't want this to be making people feel like they need to buy what I have or like encouraging or promoting certain brands because it's not about it. I just want to like show as part of like getting ready with me what I do. So I've got the primer on and then I'm going to put some primer on my eyelids. I don't always put primer on my eyelids uh, or sometimes I use like a liquid eyeshadow kind of as a primer. Like I have a couple like li kind of like liquid eyeshadows in pots that I almost use just like a primer and uh, and it, they're like sparkly so it gives everything I do like an undercurrent of sparkle but uh, I don't know I'm not I'm not planning on wearing it's I'm putting a matte eyeshadow on so putting having a sparkly layer just doesn't really make a lot of sense so that's gonna kind of sit for a little bit and then I'm gonna do my eyebrows um Let's get the, like this cheap little eyebrow pencil. I just bumped everything. This is really weird for me, guys, and I hope this isn't like awful for you. So, but anyway, I was talking at the beginning of the video about the con type of content I want to make, and I'm really excited to be doing this fashion journey. But like, also, as I was saying, as I was saying then, I can't make like every every video like a step on my fashion journey just because like I don't take that many steps or sometimes steps take several weeks or something like that. So I'm trying to get ideas for content and this is not me asking you for content ideas because I, I would love your suggestions but I guess what I'm saying is I'm not like being like you tell me and I'll just make what you feel and like I, that's making you guys do the work but like I why don't I only do one okay so I and trying to get ideas and I think kind of the stuff that I want to do is occasionally do a get ready with me like this and then I have this other idea for a video that I was inspired by the makeup artists that do the like what's new in makeup this week or will I buy it or things like that and I was like what's the fashion equivalent of that and I guess there are some channels that review like the runway shows um, in the spring and fall or whenever they are I don't know. I think you think it's in the spring and fall. That's not what I want. But so I was thinking of doing the same thing, kind of, um, but doing a, like this month in Vogue series. I have a subscription to Vogue. It's like $12 a year. And also they gave you like a really nice canvas tote. And also you get like online. I don't know. You Anyone can go online and read everything they want on there. But they send me like a daily email with like interesting topics. And I've actually been reading it a lot and enjoying it. But anyway, I thought I'd do this series called like This Month in Vogue where, um, the, so I get like March's Vogue, it's not March yet, March's Vogue came to me like a week and a half ago. So that gives me time to like read it and then on the first of the month, uh, do like a, this, this, like the March Vogue on the March 1st. Um, I think that could be fun. I don't know if people would be like, what the hell is this? I kind of was like checking on YouTube to make sure that like, I don't know if that's like something that other people do, but I didn't see any. I thought it would be interesting. It's probably going to get like zero views, but I kind of like it because a lot of times like Vogue and the editors of these fashion magazines are kind of the ones who set the styles. The purchasers for a lot of the large stores and, and things like that, they watch the runways, but they also look to the fashion magazines to see what styles they picked out of the runway as being like, these are the trends this fall. So or this spring. And so I'm kind of interested. I, I noticed that I started noticing that like they kind of, I don't want to say that they're each, well, I have to keep doing my makeup. I don't want to say that each one is themed, but they, they definitely have like a message that they're pushing. Like in February, there was like, just like the strong, like hippie cottage core vibe. And I know that that's just like a general trend, but in almost everything in that magazine related to the sixties and sixties fashion, but it was really subtle. I thought. Anyway, uh, so this is what I'm going to do today. I'm going to use my single eyeshadows. I depotted a bunch of eyeshadows. 
Anyway, today we're going for a pink look. I've got this blue shifting pink here, but uh, this is a pretty blue shift, but it is kind of dark. And then this one here is really bright and vibrant. And then this one might be good for along the edges. It also has a little bit of a blue shift. So I think what I'm gonna do is build a base. I'm just gonna like pack this bright one on um, and then use this maybe to give it like a sheen. So it's kind of got like a duochrome bluish flip and then use this light one around the edges just to kind of buff it out. So I've got my baby of brushes and um, yeah. So I don't know, I should. I guess I should have put on primer, I should have waited because the idea of not putting on my base makeup yet is so that any fallout that happens, I can just wipe off and I don't have to like redo the base. However, I don't know why I put my primer on. That didn't make sense because now if I, if I wipe off fallout, I'll wipe off the primer. But the primer does need to kind of like set. I, I don't know guys. I, I think I need to start making a, like a checklist, a checklist. I, do you know, I've walked out of here like forgetting an entire step of makeup like so many times. My last video, I had to film twice because the first time I just like didn't put any eyeliner or mascara on and just forgot. And then I saw the footage. I was like, well, that looks really weird. Like it looked weird. I don't, it was like my eyes were like half naked. It just looked really unbalanced because I did have a full face of makeup on. So I feel like I need to start having, um some sort of checklist. I don't know, I'm really forgetful. I've had to build in checklists like that into my life. I'm not forgetful. Like if you ask me a question about an event, I have like a full memory of it. It's not like I don't remember things. I remember, I forget to remember to do things. Like I forget to brush my teeth someday, not often, but like that's happened. And I don't know, I don't think, <laughs> And it's not good, but I make it work. I make myself like, but I've, I've considered making myself, I don't make like a, did you brush your teeth checklist? Like I for, probably forget to do that like four times a year, but I feel like making a makeup checklist because I've expanded my makeup routine and most days it's very simple. So when I do like a full thing of makeup, I, I feel like I forget steps. Most days I use a simple like all over lid color here my makeup's right here so i'll show you i've got either like a really neutral like this is like a glittery kind of light color that matches my skin tone in a little stick form or i've got this little liquid like silver i just put something like that all over my eyes and then i do mascara and then um a little bit of like liquid blush maybe uh this is the glossier cloud paint or maybe just like a I've got this like tart one that everybody has because it was a Sephora birthday gift. I just it's like really neutral. I just do a quick wash of that. And like that's pretty much it. But and then so then when I have days like today where I'm like, I'm gonna do so much color, it's just not like I forget I forget steps, which is ridiculous, but oh well. Oh well, it doesn't really matter. It's just this stuff. It's just makeup. Who cares? No one cares what I look like but me. So I do this for me. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's pretty though. Like this wash of color gives it like, oh, a pretty blue flip. Okay. Well, okay. So now I've got just like a wash of bright pink. Oh, and then I said I was going to like buff it out with a lighter pink, didn't I? Mm. So this again is like a crown brush. Crown is the, what are they called? The private label brand that makes the Morphe brushes. So I'm pretty sure it's similar to that. And it's, it feels nice. I don't know. What do I know about brushes? So I'm just going to like buff it out just so there's not like a line. I take like a lighter color and it helps buff it out. Sometimes I don't have a lighter color and I just like use the brush to just sort of buff it out. But that's not as like, what's the word? Effective. And I still sometimes have like a line. Oh, I accidentally like hit my face with my brush. I've got pink on my cheek, but that's okay because pink goes there anyway. It'd be a much bigger problem if it was like blue. Okay, so the eye, that part of the eyeshadow where I'm likely to get the most fallout is done. So I'm gonna do my base, and I don't really put on. I don't put on foundation. Rarely put on. I have like a thing of foundation, and I probably use it not that often. So I'm gonna go. I've got this little like clicky pen, and I like that because it's um. You can get a really thin layer. I find that the doe foot applicators will put a big blob and then I have to do more blending and that pulls on the skin. So I like this. It also is really nice to get up here, but I will blend that out. 
and it looks too light for my skin and I almost returned it but then I realized that it oxidized really nicely close to my skin put that there. close to my skin color same with this that actually I don't know about how I feel about this I just got this in the mail I had had a sample and it looks really good I'm actually using this more like a foundation I've been having a lot of complexion issues lately okay so I've got this little like flat brush huh. so what time is it <laughs> it's 3 20 and I'm getting ready for the day guys but I kind of already did my day this is my day off and I cleaned this spare room which had like clothes everywhere Clothes that, like, I'm trying to sell and get rid of, but also clean clothes. So I got rid of all those. And this is another, like, flat brush. And I finally put them in, like, some bags. I have to take pictures of them. Anyway, I'm, work I'm working on it. It's point is, is it's a work in progress. So I'm just trying to... I've been really, like, spotty here and then on this side of my face. Um, a lot of this is from masks. I've never been someone that has complexion issues before. Um, I, I think it's because of the masks and when I go through periods when I work more, my complex, I think that's what's going on. I'm working a lot lately and um, my complexion suffers because I'm wearing a mask more. And I have a lot more time off. My work is kind of like that. I'll have weeks, I'll work like three weeks with hardly a day off and then I won't hardly work for two weeks. So um, then my skin will be looking really nice when I'm not wearing my mask very much because obviously I don't wear it at home. Okay, so I'm feeling pretty good about my complexion. So then I'm going to do under my eyes. So I always leave that for last after I've done my concealer. It's looking pretty good, I think. I don't know what you, maybe you guys can see, maybe I look like hot garbage, but eh, like I said, who gives a shit? It's just me. And I do this for myself because it's fun. I don't do this because I like want other people to say that I need to look, I don't know. I don't know. But, you know, if you do put on makeup, you want to know that you're doing a good job. Like you don't want to look like hot garbage, right? I would, I would rather not have makeup on than have like poorly applied makeup on, if that makes sense. Okay, so I'm going for like the most color today. So I'm really packing it on and in terms of like a dark crease deepening shade I know that that's like a thing I'm not feeling that today some days I want to have that whole smoky look some days I just want like an explosion of color and I need a little bit more out here and then the last step is well this is not the last step no the last step would be like eyeliner and stuff but I think that the <laughs> I just dropped it. You guys are so clumsy. Ah, it's okay. They, some of them popped off, but none of them really broke. A chunk came out of my all time favorite eyeshadow, which is the shade Mean by Urban Decay from the Full Spectrum palette, but none of them really broke. There's, it's fine. Okay, so the last thing I'm gonna, in terms of color that I'm putting on my eyes is going to be Glitters. I have two different glitters here. I've got a potted glitter for the main part of my eye and then this old Urban Decay um, Heavy metal in like pink. I think they I don't know if they discontinued all of them, but I feel like they're moving away from that. So There are a lot of different companies that make glitter I'm not really happy with the glitter or with the company that made this glitter So I'm not gonna tell you about them. I am happy with the the glitter that I've gotten from Lemonhead LA. And I know that there's a lot of controversy around like what, around glitter being biodegradable, but I've also learned that that's mostly BS, that the uh, products that make biodegradable glitter, like technically are biodegradable. I'm like using my finger like a, technically are biodegradable, but the conditions that would break down that biodegradable glitter are the same ones that would help break down uh, any microplastics. Uh, so basically what I do, oh shit, I didn't, didn't want it there. Basically what I do then is I just make sure that I take this off with a piece of toilet paper and some toner um, and throw it in the garbage so it doesn't end up in the water. That is kind of annoying. That's probably one of my biggest barriers to um, wearing glitter and like why I don't wear it more often. But 
I do enjoy it sometimes. So I got some of the glitter on this eye, like here, like up here where I don't really want it. But it's not coming off. So now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Do you guys ever do that? Like you mess up your eye and you're like, meh, you know, I'm just going to do. Now I have to intentionally mess up on both sides. Say la vie. Like I said before, no one cares. No one cares. Like my hair. I know some of you guys are like, that's wild. That doesn't look, that looks awful. But I don't care. It's for me. Okay, so I have the main glitter on. I'm back. I wiped my hands. And now I'm going to go in with the Urban Decay glitter. So I'm going to use this, like a really small amount. Actually, I will use it like this. A really small amount. Because this is a really fine glitter. And I'm going to use a little small amount on my brow bone. Because the other stuff's really chunky. And I don't think it would look as good on a brow bone. And I will also be putting this on my cheeks after I do the cheeks. So this is taking forever, guys. This is going to be like the longest video. For my cheeks, I've got this uh, Rare Beauty. It's like pearly highlight. And I'm going to put a little of that on there mixed with a little of the Cloud Paint in Puff. Uh, I'm going to like mix it together. I like to put it really close to the outer corner of my eye. For me, I find that really flattering. Some days I bring it more forward and I get like more pink in the front and that gives me like, I think a really like fresh faced look. Sometimes I bring it more high up to emphasize my cheekbones. It just really depends. I think today I'm probably, yeah, I'm bringing it closer in. And I do one cheek at a time because uh, I feel like this stuff sets down faster than my cloud paint would. This rare beauty, kind of like, um, kind of like a pearly pink finish. So it just, I mix it in with my other liquid blush so that it looks more, I don't know, more like a, a pearly blush rather than a highlight. Okay, this is kind of intense. This is a lot of pink, but I'm going for it. I want that look. And then I'm going to take the pink glitter again, put some on my finger. And this is really hard to do with nails, guys. And then just have just right here at the outer corner, like a ton of glitter right there. I, that, for me, is inspired kind of like maybe a little bit by like e-girl stuff or like LARM. If you guys remember the LARM trend, like gosh, like eight years ago, I don't know, a long time ago, six years ago. Um, that was the idea is they put like sparkly and it was supposed to kind of, I don't know, but like be reminiscent of tears. I don't, I don't know if that's right. Someone probably knows better than me and is like, no, you're wrong. So this is my really pink sparkly face. I'm going to put on eyeliner and mascara and I'll be right back. Okay. Eyeliner and mascara are on. I've got like really short, straight top eyelashes. So it probably doesn't look like I have uh, mascara on. I also think that with the normalization of fake eyelashes, like regular eyelashes just look not enough, but I don't care. Uh, I put on fake eyelashes sometimes, but it's already like 3.30. So I think I am trying to go run some errands today. The last two steps are um, this uh, like kind of like sheerish lip. I do sometimes wear lipstick uh, just for me because I want to, or like you've seen me wear it in videos, but uh, I have errands to do, so I'm wearing a mask. And sometimes I like don't give a fuck. I just put the mask on and then it smears my lipstick and big deal. Who cares? But <laughs> I don't know. Today I'm just not feeling like cleaning up smearing lipstick. So it's kind of like a tinted lip balm. I've been using this for years. Clinique Chubby Stick in Super Strawberry. It looks really natural on me. I also have the Clinique Black Honey. Those are kind of my go-tos. I, I just go through those like you wouldn't believe. Oh, and the other last thing is this white eye pencil. And, uh, you know, one of the great things about makeup is that you can basically use it to change the shape of your face and to emphasize different parts of your face. But I think I like my looks best when I emphasize what I already have. So, like, I have really round eyes. I like to emphasize what I already have instead of, personally, instead of changing the shape into something else. 
But I know that the beauty of makeup is that people can use it for whatever they want. So I like to have I round eyes. I try to make them look rounder by putting um, white in the waterline. And that is it. Uh, I am now ready. You guys got ready with me. This is going to be, I'm sure, a really long video. Um, normally this whole process in the morning takes about 30 minutes. I don't always do this whole thing of makeup, but sometimes I do. Um, and I've got it down so it's pretty quick. Wait, there is actually one last step I didn't do. Like a true beauty guru. Okay, and then it got in my mouth and then I and then I have a fan that I dry my face with. So anyway, yeah, that's it. Hopefully my color analysis will be done. So next week uh, I will have that and the video will be on time because I'm trying to do Friday afternoon postings. I've been working hard this week, which is why this is uh, a little late, but uh, I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching guys. Bye. Let's go.